guys, what's up? So since the uh, writing season has finally come to the Black Hills, I thought I'd do something a little different today. Um, a few months back, what are known as uh, wish hauls were uh, all the rage on YouTube. The fad's kind of come and gone, but uh, I've been saving all these things, hoping for a good day where I could get out and shoot on the bike, and today's finally the day. So this is all stuff that uh, I got for real cheap. If you don't know what Wish is, it's a, uh, it's a website where, well, you go buy cheap stuff. It's, uh, it's all cheap Chinese stuff, but it's the same cheap Chinese stuff you'd get if you went to uh, Sturgis or any other rally, you know, but you'd pay 10 times as much. So anyway, got some cool stuff. Uh, don't know if it's all practical, but whatever, we'll check it out. Okay, the first thing is, and I have actually used these. Cheap pair of goggles. To be honest, they don't work all that great. They're uh, they bleed a lot of air, so, <clears throat> I mean, they do protect you from some wind, your eyes from some wind, but, uh, yeah, you get, a, you get a lot of air bleed through. Of course, it's all plastic and vinyl and, uh, I don't know, some kind of padding. They are pretty comfortable, but, uh, I don't know, I'd like to find a real pair of aviator goggles. I also got these ones, they're the same thing, but tinted. <clears throat> Didn't think of where I was going to put all this stuff after I took it out of the bag. Next up, and I got a few things like this, uh, but we get a lot of cold weather here and it would be nice to extend the uh, riding season. Kind of matches my bike with the red and black. It's just a cloth face wrap. It's got a <clears throat> got some breather holes here. A couple of them here, not too big though um, kind of like to maybe cut some bigger holes for a little more venting but I don't know I think it'll keep me a little bit warmer on colder days I don't know if you can even hear me when I have it on also in the same vein had to get one of these because you know these are uh, really popular with some people Anyway, I'm not going to bother straightening it perfectly, but you get the idea. <clears throat> it's a very thin, stretchy material. I don't know how warm it'll keep you, but uh, definitely keep the bugs out of your face, I guess. But, you know, it's fun. It, none of these things cost me more than like five bucks. And one more face wrap type thing. Neoprene, it's got a couple of air vents on the side. And I don't know, this one doesn't fit me so well, but I think with a little adjustment it could, and this one would definitely keep the face warm. Yeah, I can't remember the prices of all these things, but none of them were too bad. Um, if I can find them, I'll put them up on the uh, <clears throat> put them up on the video. Um, I should mention the way Wish works is 
it shows you the price, but then everything you have to pay. It shows you the price, but then everything you have to pay a shipping fee to, which you just kind of figure in part as part of the price. Next up, and I haven't even taken this one out of the package yet. Um, Just basic bandana. Um, typically, I just take a regular bandana and tie my own, but uh, for the couple bucks I paid for this, it's probably a lot easier to get on. I haven't tied it yet, but seems to fit even on my big melon, so. So, yeah, I think that one's definitely a keeper. This one I definitely haven't played with yet, but uh, it's a uh, anodized, alumi uh, anodized aluminum. It's an anodized aluminum um, like GoPro mount. I don't have a real GoPro. I call it my faux pro, but should fit. Has the same uh, fittings on it. So yeah, that one. Uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, this next thing I'm not really sure about. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I think it's kind of cheesy as well. So, not sure if it's going to go on the bike, but I'll put a picture of what it looks like on the bike. It's just a two-piece skull and crossbones. Um, thinking about putting it up top on the tank. It's just got some uh, 3M mounting tape. No, QM mounting tape. Um, but I don't know it kind of fits the theme of the bike but uh, some people think it's kind of cheesy so I don't know I'm st jury's still out on that one okay, next thing is uh, rings they have a huge amount of rings for you know same rings you would get you know downtown Sturgis or whatnot um, I already had these three um, I think I paid between 10 and 20 bucks for each of them these ones I paid about two bucks a piece for so this one we got a uh, pilot an old uh, World War one pilot skull of course And we have the uh, devil's head, demon head, whatever. And then to go with my uh, pirate theme on my right hand, so there's just some tentacles that fit perfectly on my pinky. Just like that. better like that so there's those two and yeah really just a couple bucks a piece and yeah way less than you'd pay for the same thing at any biker event Last but not least, when I bought this bike, it didn't have any turn signals on it at all. It still doesn't, unfortunately, but uh, I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, these are little LED turn signals. I think they have six LEDs, but uh, I just hooked them up to a battery just to see what they look like, and they're surprisingly bright. So I did decide to go with a different option. I got some LED strips from Amazon that uh, seem to work even better. However, when I went to go try to put them on, I discovered that the uh, wiring for the turn signals on this bike don't work, so I'm going to have to 
figure that out before I can even put signals on it. But that's my wish haul. You know, there are all kinds of more biker stuff. There's patches. There's uh, just all kinds of goodies for real cheap, way cheaper than you'd pay at any uh, motorcycle events. So that's it for this video. It's a gorgeous day, so I think I'm going to go for a ride.